Those of us in spiritual leadership need to be so careful about everything that we say and do. Let me show you why. In Deuteronomy chapter 31, Moses is 120 years old and he's strong. Like most people were dying in that day, you know, around 60 years old, 55 years old, not Moses. He's 120 and strong enough to climb a mountain. The Bible says he was at full strength, but he says in this chapter, I can no longer go in and come out. What's he mean? He says, I, God said, I can't cross the Jordan. I can't cross the Jordan, just not even as your leader, but just as a person. Why? Because in Numbers chapter 20 at Meribah, God said, I want you to speak to the rock and ask that rock for water. Now, the first time he went and got water from a rock, he had to strike the rock and the rock put forth water. But this time, instead of doing that at Meribah, he was angry at the people. He's like, man, you guys always need me to get you water and you can't do anything for yourself. I'm going to hit this rock. He hits the rock. Two things went very wrong there. Number one, he took credit as if he was God getting water from a rock. God did that miracle, not Moses. Number two, this was a picture of Jesus. He would be crucified one time, struck once. And then after that, you would go to Jesus and you'd speak to him for salvation. Lord, give me, so he doesn't have to be re-crucified or, or, or wounded again. It marred a beautiful picture of the rock, Jesus Christ. Now, as a teacher, Moses had a responsibility to give a clear message of God. He misrepresented God and misrepresented a picture of Jesus. And God said, because of that, you will not enter the promised land. That may seem harsh, but it underscores your job as a spiritual leader of your home or your business or a spiritual leader in your church. Whatever it is God's given you authority-wise, we have to correctly represent God. And to the extent we do not do that with our children and, you know, in anger, we discipline them, whatever it is, to that extent, we are guilty before God. James chapter three and verse one says, teachers, don't be everyone a teacher. Look, everyone, be careful before you go into teaching. You know why? Because you have a stricter judgment. We got to look at our lives, those of us in spiritual authority and ask ourselves, how are we representing God? God. And if we're giving an unclear representation of God, we will have to answer to that before God. And even in our lives, there's some things that are going to cost us dearly. Be careful with your spiritual leadership and the words you use today.